discuss a chapter I think obviously in my critics of cluster. I am Vishajit, your math instructor. I am here to guide you in mathematics of the cluster. So now, you note down these points so that we can discuss one by one easily. Okay, now. So what is arithmetic progress? So arithmetic, what do you mean by arithmetic? Arithmetic is a branch of mathematics which deals with numbers and its surface. That is, it is a branch of mathematics which deals with numbers and its and the operations. Okay, so the branch of mathematics. Progression. Before going to know about progression, first we know what a sequence is. Then the series is. What is a sequence? So sequence it is an orderly arrangement of numbers using some rules. That means you can write an orderly arrangement of numbers using some rules. Okay. So it takes some example. You can write 1, 3, 5, 7. Otherwise you can write 1, 4, 9, 6. You see here, you see here, here the difference is 7. So it is, uh, it, there is some rule that it follows. Here you see this is 1 square, this is 2 square, 3 square, times written. So these are called sequence. But a series, if if we write this, uh, that is a sequence a using plus sign. Suppose if we write 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus like this, 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, like this, then it is called series. Otherwise, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. We call it series. Okay, so sequence and series. Sequence is an ordered arrangement of numbers using some rules, and if we use addition sign, then it uh, converted into series. Then comes progression. What do you mean by progression? So progression in the sequence. The sequence. Where there is a particular arrangement. There is a particular order of design, there is a particular order and that order is called predictive order. Predictive order. That means in a sequence, predictive order means uh, suppose some terms are written, then we find the next terms. That is called predictive order. If there is some particular order is given, here we see 1, 3, 5, 7, given. This is difference 2. You can write 5. Then you can write 3. Then. So this is called a progression. Here we see similarly 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. This is also called a progression. That means here we can find the predictive order. There is some predictive order that we can find the next terms. Then comes Progression. Progression are three types. You can write progression are three types. One is arithmetic progression, FP can write, second, geometric progression, and third is harmonic progression. But here in class 10, we will study about arithmetic progression. What an arithmetic progression is. So, see. So I think the open series it is a sequence, you can write it in a sequence, a sequence in which, in which the difference of the difference of two consecutive terms, two consecutive terms are equal. 
Okay. So example, write two, seven, twelve, seven like this. Okay. You see here yeah, difference in two consecutive terms. Seven minus two equal five. Twelve minus seven equal five. Seventeen minus two equal to five. So this sequence, this sequence is in F P. Okay. So F P is a sequence. Okay. That is a sequence in which the two consecutive difference between two consecutive terms are equal. That is called F. These are some examples, right? But G P and H P are not the general term of an F P. General term of an F P is that is called n term. Okay. And suppose you know that uh, the F P the order is faster means that is called faster. Second term is A plus D. Yeah. D is called common difference. It is common difference is what the difference between two consecutive terms. I said so. D is called common difference. Then third term will be a plus two. You can D will be added ten. But we get the last term that is called a n. It is called last term. So so to find the last term there is a formula that is called general term that is a a. So a a is A plus n minus one into d. You see, to prove this one that uh, whether it is uh, it follows this uh, sequence or not, if you put the first term here, a, to a, you put one here. This formula, a n, that is called the a plus n. There is first term one minus one into d. You get what? A plus zero. That is it. Okay, this is first term. If you find second term here, that is a is first term is you can put a one here. Second term a two, a two a plus two minus one, two minus one into d. You get one plus one, two minus one, one into d, d. This is the second term. The third term we write a three. Third term a plus d minus one into d. That is to be a plus two d. So this is third. So this a n is called the general term of an A P. Okay, just take it. Next, the n term of an A P from the A. The n A P given. You have to find the n term from the n. Okay, suppose you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight numbers are given. If you find the fifth term from the n, one, two, three, four, the fifth term from the n. So what is its position from the beginning? Okay, so there are total eight terms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have to find the fifth term from the n. So You subtract five, then add one. So it will be eight minus five, three plus one, four. So it will be four from the B. Okay. So if the total number of terms are n, n means total number of terms. Total number of terms. You find n term from the n, n term from the n. Okay, we find the n term from the n, so that it will be the n minus n plus one term from the b. Okay, so this term from the beginning, so if we find a n minus n plus one term, this is equal to what is the formula? A plus n minus one into d. That is a. In place of a, we put a minus a plus one. In place of a, minus one into d. This will be a plus. And I can say a minus a into d. So direct formula we put here. 
a cross a minus 1 into d to get the nth term torque from the a if there are n terms in an a then it happens next next term is the middle terms of finite middle terms of finite means the it is finite you can count it how many terms are there so suppose there are suppose there are nine terms okay suppose so middle term will be middle term will be nine plus one by two that is ten by two equal to fifth term okay so directly you can find the fifth term if the numbers are odd similarly if there are if there are eight terms suppose eight terms so eight terms is we can find two middle terms first one is eight by two term and eight by two plus one by two that is called fourth term and fifth term okay so we get two middle terms if there are even number of terms that is here it is even even number of terms here or number of or number of terms if total number of terms are odd then we find one term that is middle if total number of terms are even then we find two middle terms okay suppose the so first if total number of terms is a okay so a then how you find m plus 1 by 2 is the middle term if total number of terms is a in case of first case this first case it is second first case is total number of terms is but a means or If the m is odd, the middle term will be n plus m plus one by two term. Okay. So how to find so a n? A n plus means a n plus one by two term. The formula is what? A plus n minus one into d. N minus one means m plus one by two minus one into d. Okay. This is the formula. Middle term. Okay. For second case. If the even even terms we find for here, total number of terms eight, we find four and if so let total number of terms be n. Okay, so first one will be a m by two term, a m by two. The next a m by two plus one. Okay, formula will be a plus m minus one into m by two minus one into so the first term is first. First middle term, first middle term. Then it is second middle term. Second middle term. This one, this is a plus a by two plus one minus one into b. So here we can write, you see, when we cancel, a plus a by two into b. Okay, just write.